need urgent medical attention. Send an ambulance to 316 Glenstone Avenue. Copy that. Send to your location now. Sorry for your loss. Don't worry, Bob. Honestly, we're worried. It's going to be something better the next day. Just take it. Just take it. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah. Hey Matt, how are you feeling now? It's hard to be honest. Here, see those people in there? Do you know who they are? Yeah, I mean most of them seem pretty familiar to me, yeah. It's just, I didn't realise you had, you know, so many friends, like. Just a bit weird. I tell you what, I've been thinking. It'd be good of us to get away for a while, you know? There's this camp nearby. It's over at Glenstone, and you know what, you really like it? No phones, no internet, nothing like that. Well, no drugs as well, like, come on. Sounds a bit like a happy camp, no? Yeah, yeah, probably you're right, but it'd be good to get away, better than staying here. I'm just not sure, just at the moment, you know, with, with everything going on, mum and dad might need help around the house, it just depends, you know. I understand, uh, maybe next year we'll get to it. Yeah. Do what next year? Oh, nothing, I was just uh, suggesting to Matt there about a camp nearby we get to. And uh, I said I couldn't go with everything going on at the moment. The camp, where is it? Just over again, so not too far. You should go. What? Go. Your father and I, we can take care of everything here. But? No buts. Sure, clear your head, getting away for a few days will do you good. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is it. This must be your friend, yes? Uh, you know each other? This is Jeremy. He used to be friends with my Uncle Rodney. You remember him when we were young? I think so, yeah. Stephen told me about your sister. I'm so sorry to hear about that. I know what it's like to lose a loved one unexpectedly. Especially I'd really appreciate it if I didn't have to hear about it every day. Okay, I'll catch you later. Come on, we'll head upstairs and unpack, yeah? Let's go. Yeah, sure. How many people do you know here? Uh, like I said, just a couple, why? Did you tell them all about my sister? Look, I just told them about what had happened and why we were coming, that's all. But look, don't worry about Jeremy there, okay? He's just trying to make conversation, yeah. Come on. Dona Nobis. Dona Nobis. Francitum. Francitum.
Hey! Hey! What the fuck did you do to me? I understand your anger. Answer the question. I am giving you a path. To where? That is for Yahweh to decide. Did Yahweh decide for Stephen to be murdered? Yahweh works in ways we mortals cannot understand. You will soon discover your path. Or you can leave. Stephen's car is right outside. The car keys are right there. Unless you want to risk leaving like Shiloh. What? Do you really want to know what happened to your sister? Stephen told me to find Isabella. That's you, isn't it? Pick. You were there, weren't you? My sister's funeral. How did you know her? She was one of us. And Jeremy was afraid of her. Afraid of what? It was prophesied that a brother and a sister from the true bloodline of Yahweh would unite. They would show the followers that Jeremy was not the true Messiah. By possessing the full power of Yahweh, they would have the ability to open up the heavens and bring with them Armageddon. Jeremy couldn't let the people believe he wasn't the chosen one. He had to show them only he could lead us, and so made sure Shiloh didn't survive his rituals. You gave me the cup. Did you know what would happen? The path I take is different from the path you will take. The remedy was to unlock our potential. Potential for what? After the disruption caused by Jeremy, the solstice was called to discover if he was to continue to hold the spirit. Yahweh? At the end of the solstice we will know. My friend Stephen, did you know him? I did. And still do. Did he know what would happen? He was a follower of your sister. He believed in the prophecy. And after her death, he knew it was time you learned about the prophecy too. But Stephen didn't tell me anything about this. It wasn't for him to tell you. Do you want to speak with him? What? I'm confused. 
There are those here that believe that Yahweh has abandoned me. That he has chosen a new leader for you. Yahweh has not abandoned me. He has revealed to me that there is a false prophet amongst you. And to them, the same fate that they fell Shiloh lies ahead. Show everyone who you really are. You are not the chosen one. No, for me. Oh. <laughs> 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 